Deion Sanders prime and the Colorado Buffaloes are getting ready for an exciting season featured back to back weeks to start off the year on big noon kickoff. But the conversation for Deion Sanders on Sports Illustrated turned to the potential of coaching a team he played for in the NFL, the Dallas Cowboys. So he spoke with Bree Amaranthus of Sports Illustrated about that possibility. And let's take a listen to Dion and make the comparisons between college and the NFL and the potential of going back and reuniting with Jerry Jones as a head coach. I'm not an assistant coach. That's that's not me. I'm I'm ahead. I'm not I, I, because I know who I am. I know what I am, and I don't settle for mediocrity whatsoever. Uh, I don't have any desire, or ambition to coach in the NFL. I have a problem with men getting a check and not doing the jobs. Ooh. I have a problem with that. Like I, I would be too tough as a coach in the NFL. I'm old school. You know, you're going to do it. You're going to do it this way. We're going to work our butt off. We're going to be a team. Uh, only thing's going to be individual about you is the way you play. So I'm, I'm a little different. I'm cut a little different, but I, I love it. I love Jerry Jones. I tremendously love that whole family. And, uh, you know, they're step away oftentimes. So there you go. Wants step to, away. Doesn't like, uh, didn't like uh, being a coach in the NFL because, you know, he's a little bit too old school. Doesn't feel like they could, uh, they could handle some of that criticism that he would uh, dish out there, Deion Sanders. <sighs> Sensitive thugs need hugs, as my man Fred Schmoot has said. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of personalities that you have to deal with. And, and from what I can gather, it's way more intense now dealing with, you know, pro athletes. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I really – I have dealt with a lot of of young people I've mentored. I told you I officially retired. I'm retired from it. Um, and I retired like in terms of bringing kids into my home and stuff like that. Like that's, I'm done. Um, but I've done it for so long and I watched the evolution of how these kids are, man. They're like, they, they, they've turned into, um, zombies. They're like, they're like emotionally, um, emotionally, unstable zombies that's what they are these days um and they're driven by ai artificial intelligence that's our that's this generation of pros that's this generation of athletes it's so weird if you could see guys you can know you can know guys that come from good homes that are ai um zombies because their parents were good parents, probably two family, two parent home, and allowed allowed them to be raised by YouTube, um, social media, um, mobile devices. They're, they they were raised and influenced by them. Um, you can tell the cats that come from single parent homes and are literally with no like father figure or mother figure whichever one it may be and they're influenced by the same exact things like they're all influenced by the same exact things the same exact music and 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 videos and stuff they're they're influenced by the same exact things but have different different upbringings and you can tell what type of zombie they are this new generation they're zombies and so if you're going to coach a zombie that's getting a paycheck and 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 oftentimes more than you some of these some of these players are making more than you yeah as a coach so so these zombies these ai controlled zombies are looking at you like what are you talking about what are you talking to me about and why like why are you talking to me like get out of my face it does, and that's what I've seen in terms of the evolution. Like it's just, it's like here, um, and they'll be looking at you, like they're listening, but they're not. They're not. I'm telling you, and it's at it's at the high school level. He's saying pros, and I would say the only reason why you say that at pros is because that's the level where they're actually really everyone's getting paid. You're a professional. 
but it's at the high school level. Hell, it's at the peewee level. I'm playing this position. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Like, it's like so many agendas and and so much disconnect from reality with with how these youngsters are these days. It's kind of it's I, I'll say it's a tad bit disturbing when he says when he makes the comment and he compares the two obviously I, you know, I don't want to say two different sports same sport but different level coaching in the NFL and coaching in college it does feel like two different worlds and what what I find interesting about it is if a coach either doesn't make the jump to the NFL, but is a successful college coach, or he makes the jump from college to the NFL, but maybe he isn't as successful as he is in college, they're almost diminished. Like, yeah, but you didn't do it at the NFL. Yeah, but you couldn't get done there. It's almost like a knock on their resume. When Deion Sanders is telling you, look, I played at the highest level in the NFL. I'm coaching Division I college football. I've had success coaching college football. I'm telling you, I'm not interested in it. Because it's another world, and and just the ability. And he's right. Yeah, and and so that's why it's you I, can you can threaten guys in college. It, yeah, <laughs> it, it 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 feels like, and and it almost feels like there's there you're sort of knocked if you can't do it in the NFL. When in the NFL, maybe you just don't have the ability to, because maybe it's more difficult to tell a guy who's making fifteen million dollars a year, no, you're going to be here at this time. We're practicing this hard. Yeah, no, I'm not. Like, I'm just I'm just not doing it like it's a it's a whole different job, it feels like. And and I, I think his approach is, man, I want to be able to actually coach players, not manage personalities. And he feels like he's got to do that at, at the NFL level more so than in college. Hmm. It's kind of uh, I think you definitely have more control in college than you do. And in, in the pros and really in any other any other level because if you're talking high school you could you could threaten somebody in high school they'll go tell their mother or their father you're going to get fired like you're out of there or they'll quit like I'm not going to make it anyway um or you can look at college and you'd be like I'm almost there like I am one level away from making it to to the pros and whether you're a backup or you're a starter, you know that everything at this point truly matters. Like the way the coaches talk about you, everything, your film, everything matters when you get to that point of where you're actually able to look at the pros as being a a viable possibility. And so you're willing to handle the verbal abuse that comes your way because you don't have anything except the game and what that game can provide for you. You're not going to let no professor talk to you that way. You're not going to let anybody else outside of a coach talk to you the way that a coach is going to talk to you at times because of what it is that's at stake for you, which is weird, right? Because you would think like, well, if if a coach can talk to you crazy, then a professor should be able to talk to you crazy. I right. wish a professor would talk to me crazy. I wish I wish one I wish one would like who the audacity of you uh, uh educator of 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 a higher level raising your voice at me mother effing me please you're not going to talk to me that way but let a coach do it and you be sitting there like <sighs> <laughs> sir yes sir <laughs> I'll be I'll be outside tomorrow. I'll be outside. <laughs> yeah, I'll get it right this time. It uh, like, please don't mother f me. Like you I don't just, even say that. You just take it. So I just think it's the level of control. And Dion, Dion would probably people don't realize how detailed. If you didn't know him, you wouldn't know how detailed Dion is. Dion is almost. I mean, you know, I ain't, I'm not one to clinically diagnose anybody, but. Dion is almost like almost like like a rain man type, bro. He's like really, really like OCD yeah. with what he does. Like every single detail. I mean, a lot of successful people are. 
Like like every every ounce of it matters. Like every set. Like it, some a lot of people would dismiss. Well, why does it matter if I you know get up at this time and make my bed first? And for some people, it's like that's how it gets them going. Like that's that's the first step in a long process of a successful day. And it's always like, you know, the old adage, you know, run the day, don't let the day run you. And he strikes me as one of those guys who's gonna be in control. And he's going to have full control of whatever he's got his hands on and whatever he's operating. And he probably feels like I don't have the ability to have full control in the NFL. That's why we talked about it last week, Nick Saban. Some people will look at Nick Saban's run in the NFL and say, oh, yeah, he wasn't successful. So they almost diminish his historical impact on the game. He wasn't bad in the NFL. No, hell no, he wasn't bad. He wasn't bad. But he recognized, okay, I'm better served going back and coaching at Alabama than staying here with the Dolphins and trying to figure out the quarterback position, which was the issue. And guess what? He was right. Like he's uh, he yeah. he's he's become the greatest head coach in the history of college football. Yeah. But I think people look at it and say, yeah, but he couldn't do it at that at that level in the NFL. So, so therefore, what? yeah, exactly. I just show me your your accolades to the people that said, oh, he couldn't do it. At, show me your accolades. Accolades, please. Yeah. What are your accomplishments? Oh, he couldn't do it at, at the pro level. Show me what 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 was your how'd you do at the pro level? What'd you do? Yeah. What'd you do? Agreed.